do the sequenced part, that little piece I did in the beginning. I'll just make a list of the modules I'll be using in this patch from left to right in this section here. I have the Supra Resonator from FSFX. It's a rings from Mutable Instruments. Next to it, it's an oscillator from Corsint. It's a clone of a Odyssey, a ARP Odyssey oscillator. Next to it, there's the old Q186 with its little aid, the Q141 excellent oscillator next to it i have the eight channel mixer the q113 the end of that chain it's going to be the q107 from synthesizer.com the state variable filter so in the bottom i use as a vca a combination of an envelope generator and a vca from synthetic sound lab it's the model 1235 which it's, it's actually doing the output. Side note, this output will go into, yes, a Eurorack module named Magneto from Strymon. Next to it, there's the VCADSR, which I'm gonna use to modulate the state variable filter Q107. And what is gonna sequence actually, it's, my favorite sequencer of all time, the Moon Modular 569. Start the patch. Uh, now do the audio section of the patch. From the Supra Resonator, I'm gonna take the even into this section one, number one, the odd output. I plug into number seven of the section two of the eight channel mixer. Okay, I'm gonna plug the Q106. I think it might have been here in input number six of section two. From the Odyssey of Sound. Oh yeah, I use sawtooth, sawtooth. Where is this mixer going to go? Well, I'll take the combined output. Put in a bit more. Look at that, it's lack. Now the oscillators are in the 8-channel mixer. The 8-channel mixer go into the state variable filter and I'll take the output of the low pass and send it to the VCA in of this module, the envelope VCA. If I turn on the init volume, kind of. Okay, what's controlling what? Okay, now the control section. We have the audio signal down. I'm gonna now take care of the CV and the gates. So the gate out of the first row, by the way, I'm using the sequencer in a format of 216 step. Okay, it's possibility of 32. Now I, you have a selector here. I, you can have two times 16. Oh yeah, that gate here, it needs to be malted. So the gate goes into the malt. I'm going to plug uh, this one so it should work. It does. You see with it. Okay, into the gate. So from the VC ADSR, I'm going to plug this one into the state variable filter into the CV control over there. From the gate to the strum in of the rings or the supra resonator. work in the mixer. Love the sound of those cables. Now I'm gonna take the voltage control out of the first row here and I'm gonna malt it. I want to be able to control the oscillators with the control voltage. So one out into the 
one volt per octave, two oscillators in the one volt per octave from that malt, and the last one, the supra resonator, also needs a voltage control, a volt per octave. The voltage control from the 569 sequencer, the first row is going into the one volt per octave of the Q106. Same thing, it goes into the one volt per octave of the C104 from Corsint. And there's also a volt per octave input into the supra resonator. Now if I play the sequence, it should all play together. Okay, so it works. I would like more variations on the sequence because I have a VC ADSR. Uh, so I'm gonna ask one of the third row here. It's gonna control the attack time. Let's see how. Um. 